So here we go again. I think today I'd like to talk about the possibility of learning or the ability of learning. It's kind of an odd thing. Um, I was basically laughing at the situation the moment it happened and after even more so. Um, but driving home like yesterday or day before from here from work I had an old person in a vehicle cut me off like I'm not saying they shouldn't be operating a vehicle but they perhaps shouldn't be who knows um, but they cut me off to the point where I actually had to full emergency brake we were only going slow so it went too bad um, but then later they drove by me shaking their head and pointing at me which I found really amusing because in the end of the day, I got the right way. They cut me off and they're shaking their head. Um, which just means they've lost or they never had the ability to learn. Because that means they don't even know they did something wrong. And if you are of a um, senior age and you haven't figured shit like that out, odds are you'll probably never figure it out. Which is something like, it's sad, but if you don't laugh at it. The world's a sad place and you'll just fucking cry about everything. So I guess it could be significantly worse. Um, and I could be that person. But I'm capable of learning from my mistakes still. I mean, who knows, I might not be able to one day. But let's hope that day never comes. And it's just like stunning. Like, yeah, okay, I'll make driving mistakes. I mean, hell, the other day I pulled a stupid maneuver trying to overtake a long snail behind a slow person from be from behind because no one else was overtaking them and there was ample opportunity to and after five vehicles I had to abort because there was going to be traffic coming it's not like there was already traffic coming but there was going to be and knowing that I aborted the overtaking and pulled back into the snake of people like five down like five down from where I started I only made five vehicles headway, which weren't advantageous because didn't get past the slow person at the front. This was on countryside roads, so it could be worse, you know. Um, but I managed to abort it because in the past I made the mistake of not aborting early enough. Mm. Here at work, I've done some not so great stuff because I went aware of the right way of doing it good news is I've done it once it was pointed out to me and I haven't done it since and I won't do it again mm. for me that's like very basics but it seems some people may never have that opportunity or lose it at some point let's hope I don't lose it but who knows only the future knows um general that's quite odd because I think if you don't learn you're basically dead like quitting learning is basically dying I mean I haven't articulated my spiritual beliefs properly yet but I'm confident one day I will and I'm fairly confident the seeking of knowledge and of skills guess um is like an essential aspect of it because you've got to grow and there's no way any human would ever know anything that you can grow by learning more shit and learning how to find out shit like you don't got to know it all but if you know where to look up most stuff or you learn to look up where to look up things that's like half the problem solved more than half 90 percent 80 percent of the problem solved you know mm. And it's just kind of odd because so many people just accept it the way it is without even bothering to confirm it or understand it though I don't have any practical well not much practical experience with them I believe I understand the petrol com com um, combustion engine to like 99% in theory which I'm really happy about. And I understand some people just want to see a car or a bike as a thing you put some magic juice in that magically moves you in itself. 
but at the end of the day, what are our brains good for if not understanding things? Mm. And of course, you can rely on people who've understood shit, but then you also got to trust them, and you can't trust any, everyone. And sometimes it might feel like you can't trust anyone. But the best way to find now is knowing yourself or knowing how to look it up. I mean, some skills you acquire and some are, you are just able to through tools. Like with the car, I couldn't diagnose the fault myself 100%. Because first off, I didn't have a tool that hook up to the car give me all of the sensor data uh, known as VCDS by Rosamund uh, Hexgrid 2 is the product name mm. and I don't have a uh, car lift but that's like problems other people can solve no problem in that case I'm happy to outsource it I still understand their diagnosis and why they made the diagnosis the way they did which is, I guess, seeking knowledge. It's just having outsourced capacities due to lack of tools. Then again, bad crafts and blames their tools. Mm -hmm. Not like I fucked it up because of the tools. I can't do it because of the tools, because some things you just need the right tool for. And longer term, like, well, actually mid-term, not even long-term, like a couple, couple, maybe five years, one is gonna acquire tools, like, much as I have now have the poly drive slit and the Phillips slit screwdriver bits by VR, which I even put in a thumbnail quite a while ago, um, I've chosen to continue existing, or I plan on continuing existing, or some shit like that was the title. Like you just acquire tools over time because what's excess income good for? tools can even just be programs for computers or and then you can also acquire knowledge by partaking in courses or legal ability to do things by getting legal qualifications and certifications for things in the case of not having those it don't mean you can't do it but it means you can't legally do it within the society's constraints which for all practical purposes means you can't do it. Mm. The only reason we seem to need those constraints of like certifications, etc., is because there's people who cannot judge their own skill set adequately or don't care enough to do to make sure they can do stuff before they do it themselves like we have a loading ramp a hydraulic up and down thing small lift for loading bays at work which is just down the road that way mm. when I came here I wouldn't have touched it because I know I knew I didn't know how to operate it my second day of work I asked my foreman my supervisor I guess it's a supervisor in this case. May I? I trust myself to because I observed other people use it and I knew its quirks. Today I spent a few hours just operating that thing up and down, loading and unloading equipment. Like, you can learn shit, man. And you don't have to make the mistakes others make because you can ask them or you can just watch them do it. If someone does something for a specific reason, odds are, though it's not guaranteed, they got a reason to do it that way. Like if they do it a certain way, not a reason. Misspoke there. Oof. But so many people seem to just like to run into a brick wall themselves to find out. Like, yeah, okay, you might have to run into a wall once, but then you don't got to figure out how to get through it. You can look at people who figured it out. That's what learning is. I mean, if you try to figure out the world by yourself, have fun getting to a flat piece of stone. 
rubbing three stones against each other again and again until you have three flat pieces of stone. Well, gas things we don't need to do because we can test flatness ourselves. I mean, these days you can buy flat stones, you don't need to rub three together, which solve a lot of problems with like measuring things. Surprise. Meteorology. We can learn from our ancestors from previous generations, even people our own age. Because surprise, there's only so much time you have. And even people younger than you might have spent more of their time on a subject than you have, in which case, or I have, in which case I might as well learn from them. Like I've learned things from people not half my age, but half a decade younger than me. Just because they focus on something, and they acquire a certain specific set of skills, I can use that like what's the point not doing that you know yeah I'm still here at work um, well not working anymore clocked out 13 minutes ago because we got work Christmas party tonight which is like dinner and stuff I'm in the car so obviously I won't be drinking because I prefer driving but I'm probably going to get myself proper stuff for dinner first which I guess is a minimum because I think I've gotten the best part of three quarters of an hour to kill because I only start one hour after work stop because for many people that's enough to get home and get back here for me is enough time to get home and not do nothing people other people get to shower in the meantime but my hair dry broke again mm. So I'm not going to be showering till like tomorrow noon. And that'll actually be like a worrisome amount of time since my last shower, which was a bit Sunday, now it's Friday, so... But I still look presentable. According to a person I'd claim would have been a pre-inflation friend, a post-friendship term inflation good friend. Um, one can't tell from the outside how bad my current bodily hygiene is. So... I can still run around like this, I guess. Well, magic. Magic! And I do see the irony in me smoking a cigarette right after having said you can learn of other people's mistakes. Because, surprise, there is plenty of people who've died of cancer. They got most certainly because they were smoking. Because it significantly increased your risk of certain cancers. The thing is, I fully admit I'm not flawless, surprise. I am human after all. Um, and you got to give yourself some leeway for being human. Like, what's the point of not doing that? Like, hell, humans make mistakes, humans need days off. Like, some days you might just not be able to do something. And that's okay, because you're human. Hopefully, I mean, you might not be, who knows. I'm claiming you to be human, though you might not be. Mm. I believe to be human myself. Though one of my parents was an alien, it was alien in the cultural sense, not in the literal sense. Well, in the literal cultural sense, not in the extraterrestrial sense. So, yeah. That's what you get for being autistic, eh? be a cultural alien and an autistic expat certainly cultural alien magic how shit work ah uh, yeah like I've actually been working uh, I got these gloves a while ago because of some uh, grip work I was doing for uni unpaid but now they're actually starting to get wear marks on them, these gloves, like the insides of them are starting to get worn, which is quite nice because all that's not on my hands. And I do wash my hands a solid six, seven times minimum a day, just because the moment you touch cables that have been dra dragged through somewhere, you've got black hands. Nothing against black hands, but in that case, black is because of dirt, because of rubber from the outside of the cables. 
they've been dragged through the dirt is all that dirt and the gloves help with that and they obviously also help with not getting wood splinters or shit treating apple boxes and so on today I was fairly proud because I actually managed to pack a non-minor order like two sprinter vans worth of material all by myself and I managed like there's one thing I have to ask someone to check because I'm not comfortable doing it um, would be making sure the right HMI bulb is in HMI light and I'm not comfortable doing that because I don't have experience those, sh those things are bloody explosives I mean they're high pressure gases in a glass container thin glass container so a, an actual colleague who actually got a job here not just an intern check that for me I packed a total of like seven small carts and some stuff on the floor myself well small some of them were big two sprinters worth in the end of the day and after that I helped the guys who booked it get it out of the place by operating the ramp for them I even uh, noticed something I was fairly happy about which was uh, a person had come by to offload some stuff they operated the ramp downward without securing the overlapping bit that would otherwise strike the bottom of the loading dock and I noticed that and I secured it before I lifted it usually you shouldn't have to because it should be secured on the way down they did not though I noticed it and if it's not secured on the way up we've got a serious problem because we ain't got a replacement or spare for that and we needed multiple counts per day like most productions are not big enough from the lorry size to be able to go straight to the loading bays so they need the ramp for like sprinters and three and a half tonners and shit like that seven and a half tonners something that all worked out. I'm like actually managing fairly well. Mm. I believe it was the day before yesterday. My direct supervisor was on the phone complaining about not having enough staff. Um, and they mentioned then and they later on repeated it to me directly. Now I'm doing more than is expected of an intern. Well I understand that's not the point of being an intern. I was very happy about it and I am fairly proud of it because surprise I've been at this place for seven working days nine days in total and I'm doing a solid employees work like I'm happy for them to benefit from it because it's a bloody internship I'm not doing it for gains I'm doing it for knowledge <laughs> what matters is this knowledge this this Lambo behind me in my garage don't matter Ah, Ty Lopez. So many people in my age range or world that do not know Ty Lopez. I'm pretty sure youngers don't know either. It's like a dead meme, but I'll know your meme, you can look it up. So, yeah. Just here in my garage with my Lambo. The Lambo don't matter. Ah, that was like the beginning. Well, I don't know if it was the beginning. That was the beginning of my awareness of things with people selling courses on how to live better life and living off those courses well, I'm sure that's been a thing since for bloody ever but like surprise the way you can live off courses is if you sell them by taking them uh, maybe you'll gain some knowledge odds are you won't get your money's worth and again you might actually get your money's worth Ty Lopez might actually contribute enough uh, who knows I guess Ty Lopez might know all the people who took the courses But at the end of the day, I can't speak for anyone's character whom I don't spend time with and know myself. So I don't see the point in spending what little money I have on potentially gaining knowledge if I can not spend money and gain real knowledge of people in my surroundings. Like this is measurable knowledge. Though uh, Cardin Cardellini clamp in long is an end jaw. It's not the same as a Cardellini clamp end jaw because those are shorter. <laughs> uh.
yeah, I'm real happy I'm able to learn. Sadly, not everyone is, but that's the way the world works, I guess. And it's on us, the people who are able to learn, to try and make the best of it for everyone, because, I mean, hell, people can't learn, it's not their fault. They lack the ability to. Hopefully it's not their fault. I'd, I'd think if you can't learn, you can't learn how to learn, so... Then again, there might be change, who knows, but... It'd be not worth the effort, in my opinion. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have one smoke and then I'm gonna wrap this. I've actually been smoking active cigarettes again ever since I started work and today I've actually smoked a whole packet which is suboptimal but for the other days I've been at like one packet a full day which is an okay amount because it's not like increasing significantly so I'm happy about it I guess uh, it still forced me to take like a breathe every now and then which is handy because today I for example spent some time coiling some um, three phase 400 volt cables with with 32 amps no 63 amps of throughput capability which are fairly thick cables um and that's like exercise uh then then again there is 125 amp cables i have luckily not had to roll those yet and apparently rolling them in the cold outside when it's freezing is even more fun so yay But like, that was a workout, just because the client hadn't rolled them all the way right, like we like them. Then again, not everyone have the same standards, that's perfectly understandable. Like surprise, a rent or handle a lot of equipment, or know how to handle equipment, but someone who just rents stuff a week out of the month for productions might not know how to handle it, especially if rentals don't tell them which usually ain't worth the effort for the rental. It's easier to just call them up ourselves properly. Yeah, I really hope this, like, work out. Like, I can't get a job in, like, nine months to have lined up for ten months' time. So I can pay rent and diesel and stuff, yeah. Uh, and food. Food is nice. I like food. Today I'm getting free food. That's the best kind of food. Earlier today I was actually at the shop down the road uh, in, in the railway station to get one frozen pizza. But they were on offer for like less than half price of regular price. So I got six of them. I had one today and I put the other five in the freezer at work. So I got like lunch sorted to like hopefully mid-January on the pizza front. Still got to get some other stuff, can't eat pizza every day, but still, it's like pretty decent. With the clocking in and out, it's kind of odd. I mean, I understand for a certain company size, you need people clocking in and out to keep track of time. It's not like we're getting any more people if we don't get the work done, which means we might take a smoke break and not clock out for it. And we might clock out for lunch and continue working. I'm perfectly happy doing that. As long as it's a small enough size, like company or location, that worked perfectly fine. Um, but like, we come at the beginning, we leave at the end, unless it's like a party like today. Uh, my colleagues will keep walking past the front, carrying stuff, so, nah. But, we get the work done, that's what matters. The only thing is, um, us getting the work done, don't support the manager in the position for getting more workers, though they might need them, particularly if they have ill people, or want someone on holiday, become rather difficult without extra people 
and documenting like overtime and so on would be very handy I believe but they're open for feedback I'll probably bring it to them someday I mean hell you might see this odds are you you aren't seeing it but still you could um, I'll bring it to you anyway sometime because I'm not going to assume you to have seen it though there is the ability for you to have seen it fellow manager I asked a leading question earlier in the week, I believe it was. And based on that question, I then got tasked later in the week, which I was really happy about as well. Like, if someone's ill and they've done something, how do others know what that, what that something they've done is? And we started labelling that, like, yesterday. It's pretty nice because redundant systems superior superior systems redundant systems are superior because surprise fewer variables affect the outcome which is always a good thing about systems I like systems I believe I'm at the point where I can name almost any fixture we have for rental like by name I can find most of the lights with some of the uh, uh, halogens and or HMIs I still have some problems because we have quite a lot of those quite a lot of different ones and they aren't all labelled good news is we're going to do an inventory next month and we're going to label everything which means by that time it will be very easy to find anything obviously you still need some knowledge it's not going to eliminate the knowledge but it's going to share the knowledge and ease the load by documenting knowledge which is what things like Wikipedia and so on are good for I mean hell it's fucking amazing stuff like the world would still exist without it but realistically is a logical conclusion of the internet having something like Wikipedia a repository of common knowledge mm. Wikipedia is not flawless but that's why there is sources and citations you can always look at the citations if you're questioning something's legitimacy. Ah, oh, shared knowledge, documented. And you can download it all fucking for free. Like, yay. It's pretty cool stuff, you know. I like it that way. Ah. Uh, anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this here. Hope you keep acquiring knowledge don't give up you can learn you can grow you can build your skill set you can gather knowledge you can gather knowledge on how to gather knowledge it's fucking amazing stay safe cheerio